It is a sad reality that it took the election of proto-fascist Donald Trump and children being actually separated from their parents to instill critical thinking to Silicon Valley. 300 of Microsoft staff have recently signed a letter condoning the company's partnership with America's Immigration and Customs Enforcement, ICE. As the people who build the technologies that Microsoft profit from will refuse to be complicit, reads the letter. Amazon workers have also called on the firm's CEO, Jeff Bezos, to stop selling powerful face recognition tech to U.S. law enforcement, cease providing infrastructure to government-linked software giant Palantir, and said they refuse to contribute to tools that violate human rights. Hundreds of academics have also urged Google to abandon its work on a U.S. Department of Defense-led drone program codenamed Project Maven that is using artificial intelligence and machine learning technology to help analyze huge amounts of captured surveillance footage. Technologies are not a neutral being, and more often than not, they are utilized to support the state apparatus. And until recently, the tech utopian heads were in complete denial about that. The workers are finally owning up to the situation in which you can put a cigarette paper between Silicon Valley and the industrial military complex. And yet, this is only the tip of the problem. While I'm happy with Microsoft, Google and Amazon are taking responsibility here, I long for the moment the same amount of solidarity will be extended to the atrocities being committed right now in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Since 1998, six million of local villagers have been slaughtered to clear the ways for mines of minerals necessary to build our smartphones. The locals are left with few choices, leave and abandon their homes, or stay and have their wives and daughters raped or die. Rape is used as a weapon. It is a horrific way to disrupt communities as women are the key pillars and the hardware developers work with such people. In 2012, around 150 Chinese workers at Foxconn, the world's largest electronics manufacturer, threatened to commit suicide by leaping from their factory roof in protest at their working conditions. And in the West, we are completely silent on these issues. I am encouraged to hear that the big tech companies are beginning to take some responsibility for their actions in the software department but we must not quit until the same attention is given to the hardware and the suffering caused to populations that right now do not have that worldwide media attention on them. On that depressing note, you just watched Left Left Up uh, with me, Marianne Dechgalita, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.